Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, bringing you another new deck this week. Uh, I don't have a great gimmick for you, I just felt like going back to a comfort style for me. And we are going to do some Nightmare Mode quests. So this is a 3 hero secrecy deck up against Nightmare Journey Along the Anduin. Uh, this is my opening hand, which looks great especially now that that has happened. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Let's do Darren's runes. Oh, and I have to discard one of these. It is mostly singletons, so this is potentially interesting. I'll get rid of Heed the, uh, no. Uh, let me get rid of Aristor. He's probably the least valuable of these. Drop uh, Light of Valinor on Glorfindel, nice and quick. Uh, I will play a Timely Aid right away. Look at the top five. Nice. All right, yep, uh, we are in great shape so far. There's Fear Y'all. I could heed right now, but I think I'm gonna save for Quick Beam next round. So yeah, I think we are in good shape. Basically gonna commit everyone to the quest. Two, three, six, nine. I'm gonna put the resource on Theodrid so I can steward next round. We'll see what we get. Uh, flooded Ford. I don't want that. So we're gonna discard it with Fury All and get something better like this, which is totally fine. So two threat added to our total of six means I will make three progress. I really want Asphaloth so that I can get out Gladden Fields the easy way. So I think I'm gonna hold on to that. And we're just gonna move on to the next round. That's a fun card. Uh, one, two. Let's put these on Theodrid so that I can stop giving him the resources ever again. Uh, and I'll be able to heed the dream nicely. Still at 20 threat, so let me play a Kelduin Traveler. Look at this card. Just click on this one, can't I? Okay, can't do anything about that with the Traveler, so that's what's coming up and probably being discarded. So I have two for a quick beam who comes in with the damage because I am sure as hell not going to have him be exhausted. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna work towards Jubair. So, questing again. Two, three, six, nine, eleven. We reveal this treachery. Uh, which will just surge, so fine. Surges into a second Gladden Fields. All right, I'm definitely gonna heed for Asphaloth. Oh, uh, this was gonna be on Gorfindel from Theodrid, because I wanna work towards Jubair. I sent 11, there's seven in the staging area. One, two, three, four. I can't really do anything else right now, so next round, here we go. Boom. Oh, I wish I could just casually pass one of these over right now. But I will be able to deal with that, so let's heed the dream. Look at top five. Really? Octagon Shuffler? Really? That's fine. I'll take I'll take Gandalf. Gandalf is okay. Shuffle that. Because I have this sneak attack. Um and I might as well pay the kicker for Heed the Dream and pull out, what am I gonna pull out? Oh, yeah, Rod of the Steward. Nice, easy one. Play this Rod of the Steward on Theodrid, because I really would like to be able to draw cards whenever I feel like it. So, let's quest and hope we don't get another Gladden Fields. I think I will sneak in a Gandalf. Boom, Gandalf. Uh, and I'm gonna have him draw me three cards. One, two, three. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save that for next round. 
So we will quest two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, there's seven in the staging area. I guess I'll make it fifteen committed to the quest. I will put Theodred's resource on Falco, so that Asphaloth next round can come in, and I can start clearing out these gladden fields. Goblin Sniper. This is terrible because this is not actually a bad card, but it's going to keep doing a bunch of damage. So I'm going to get rid of it, and we reveal instead the Brownlands. All right, so that's 12 in the staging area against my 15. I make three progress. One, two, three. We have enough once I kill the hill troll to move on, which is cool. Uh, Gandalf will come back to my hand. I will travel to the brown lands and just get rid of it. I am not going to engage the hill troll. Really glad I don't have to. So yeah, next round. All right. One, two on Theodrid. Uh, let me Darren's runes. One, two. Hmm. Okay, out of all of these, I think the resourceful is... I can play two resourcefuls this round, though, which is kind of great. This is terrible, but I'm going to get rid of a second Darren's runes. Uh, I'm going to spend one for a Kelduin Traveler. It allows me to look at this card. And if it was a location, I could discard it. But instead, that just goes right back on top. I am going to play Elrond's Council early, dropping my threat down to 19. So that I can do 1 2. Here is a resourceful on Glorfindel. Oops, I already paid for both of them. Two resourcefuls on Glorfindel. So we're going to have a lot of resources coming soon. 1 2 is Asphaloth. And I can't play Gandalf right now or Jubair, but soon. So let's quest. 2, 3, 6, 9, uh, 13. They're not that bad, but I don't want to deal with them until I get some more allies on the board, so we're going to skip them with Furial and reveal the East Bite instead. Perfect. I sent 13, there's 8 in the staging area, we'll make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Travel to the East Bite, I'll use Asphaloth to put 2 points on a Gladden Fields, because I really don't want to travel to them. I forgot Theodred's resource, which I will put on Falco. And we're going to go to the next round. Steward is two more resources. Resourceful is two more on Glorfindel. One, two, three, four, five. Jubair. Uh, one, two. Let's draw a card. That's a good one. Heed the dream. Look at top five. And all of these, I'm at 20. Uh, let me take Timely Aid. And then one, two, three. I'm gonna grab something else from the deck. I'm about to be out of secrecy, but I don't think that matters in the long run. So I can't easily play two timely aids. Let me grab a sneak attack. And let's quest. Two, three, six, nine, 13. Theodred is going to put the resource on himself, and I'm going to use it immediately to timely aid. Uh, I forgot if I shuffled after that last look effect, so let's just do that extra now to be sure. Okay, I'll take Warden of Healing, that's fine. So now I have some healing online, which is cool, because I have at least one character that's damaged. And I sent... 13 to the quest again. Eastern Crows, totally fine. Anduin Troll Spawn, all right. I think I can deal with that. 
Uh, before we place progress, one, two, to get rid of a Gladden Fields, sending it to the victory display. So I have 13 up against three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clears that right out. All right, engage the Anduin Troll spawn. I have six damage for attacking back, which would put three on there. Uh, and Jubair would be safe. I don't think that's worth it. So I'm just going to optionally engage these Eastern Crows. Jubair will defend and discard this Shadow card. And we'll kill it, shuffling it back into the deck. Alright, moving on. One, two. Uh, sure, let me heed the dream again. We are out of secrecy now, so... Anything I draw is going to need to be something that I can play. Hmm. Take the Gandalf. Yeah, I think I'll take the Gandalf. I only have one sneak attack. Yeah, and I'm not going to pay for the kicker this time. Hmm. All right, let me do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I should have two extra on Gorfindel from the Resourcefuls. I will play this Gandalf. I guess in that case, I would have left one and one. Uh, and I'm gonna choose to draw three cards again. Hey, there we go. I can get back into secrecy now. All right, good enough. Let's quest. Two, three, six, nine, thirteen. Here is fourteen, dropping my threat down to eighteen. We are up against six in the staging area. Um, do I leave those? I can definitely kill them. Right, three, six, ten is just as much as I need. Sure, let's leave those guys. Asphaloth puts two progress on Gladden Fields. So, up against three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I make six progress. Not gonna travel to Gladden Fields. Uh, I am going to optionally engage the Marshland Outlaws. They get a shadow card. Jubair will defend and discard this shadow card. Didn't really do anything interesting. He takes no damage. Gandalf, Quickbeam, Gorfindel is enough to kill the Marshland Outlaws. Uh, and I can heal Quickbeam, finally. Sounds good. Uh, Gandalf does go away at the end of the round, and we refresh. Gorfindel gets two extra. So does Theodred. Let me play Faramir. I can give Theodred the resource to himself for a sneak attack potential. Or I could just play another Gandalf. Um, yeah, we're good. So, questing. Two, three, six, nine, thirteen. Might as well make it fourteen again. Dropping my threat to sixteen. See what we get. Marsh Adder. Great, I'll take it. So, 16 up against. Might as well as fall off this out of the way. 1, 2, 3, 6. Or sorry, 14 against 6. 8 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, Thayer's resource goes on himself. Can I kill Marsh Adder if I engage it? 3, 6, 7. He's one shy right now. 367 is one shy of the troll spawn as well. Alright, uh, I'll optionally engage the Marsh Adder. Give it a shadow effect. Play a sneak attack. Popping Gandalf into play and drawing three cards. Not bad. Uh, Jubair will defend the Marsh Adder. Discarding that shadow. 
He takes one damage. My threat goes up by one to 17. And I have three, six, 10 to send the Marsh Adder to the victory display. And I can heal that one damage off Jabir. And I guess I could have made extra progress this round, but that's all right. Gandalf does come back to my hand because that was just sneak attack. And we are on to the next round. I got a lot of resources right now. Might as well use two from Gorfindel to put out two Songs of Wisdom. Uh, eventually, I will probably be discarding Falco. Actually, why did I do that with those resources? <laughs> Let's use both of Falco's resources. Uh, and I am going to discard him now to drop my threat by seven. Pretty much just because. I guess I'll use one of these to timely aid. Pulling out a rather unimpressive ally. I will play another Gandalf, drawing three cards. Ooh, that's a good one. And a Treebeard, finally. So, let's quest. One, four, seven, eleven. And I can make it more if I need it. Yep, that is A-OK. -okay. Necromancer's Reach is going to do one, two, three, four, five total damage. Otherwise be unimpressive. There's three threat in the staging area, so I make eight progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to optionally engage the troll spawn. So I will defend with Jubair, discarding the shadow card. I just like flipping them up to see what it would have been. He takes one damage, and I have three, six, seven, eight, twelve. I guess I really didn't need to Gandalf this round. More than enough to kill the troll spawn. Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. Uh, I have more than enough resources to heal. And we're on to the next one. Treebird gets a resource. Theodred gets two. Dwarfendel gets two. Ooh, and I got a sneak attack. That's fun. Hmm, okay. None of the rest of these cards have any value whatsoever. So let's draw a card there. Uh, I can play the Rivendell Scout for free. Yep, let's quest. One, four, seven. I think this will be the Hill Troll round. Okay, that's the third Necromancer's Reach off the encounter deck in a row. Just in case you were not convinced, the Octagon Shuffler is perfectly random in a very weird way. All right, my seven against one is six progress. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need to think about combat. Three, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 15 if I sneak in Gandalf to defend. So that's what I'm going to do. Play, uh, just do this in the proper order. <laughs> uh, engagement, we are going to engage the Hill Troll. Beginning of combat, he gets a shadow card. I will play sneak attack to put a Gandalf into play from my hand. Choosing to draw three cards. One, two, three. There we go. That's a good one. All right. And to avoid extra threat, Gandalf is going to defend. That's no shadow effect. He takes two damage, which is really not very important. And I fight back. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. Sends the hill troll to the victory display. And we are on to stage two. Warden of Healing is going to uh, heal two damage. And I'm going to spend two resources to ready him. Because I really want to get this damage off Jubair and Treebeard. 
And I could do it again to clear both of these, but I'm pretty sure we're done with Necromancer's Reaches. So let's just move on. Uh, Gandalf does come back to my hand. Theodor gets two, Glorfindel gets two, Treebeard gets one. And now I need a location so that I can get Bayorn into play. Uh, I will definitely spend two for another Warden of Healing. And I'll spend two to draw a card. There's not much left in the deck. Uh, it's mostly going to be duplicates, but I'd still like to see them. So, let's quest. One, four, seven... 11, 12, 13, 1, um, that's just going to surge anyways, so 1, East Bite, 2, Pursued by Shadow, okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, raises my threat to 19, I am still in secrecy, that is the weakest phase 2 I have ever seen. Uh, I have to count this up again. 1, 4, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 up against 1 means I make 19 progress. Which is enough to get me to the ambush. 1, 2. <laughs> okay, uh, that's just the first encounter card. And the second one is a Dolgolder Beastmaster. This is realistically not a huge threat. Uh, I am forced to travel to the East Bite, so we're going to do that. Might as well ask Falath to put two damage on it. I don't have a sneak attack anymore, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I can only deal with one of these enemies this round, so let's optionally engage the Dolgolder Beastmaster. Shadow Shadow. Uh, Treebeard is going to defend instead of Jubair. Plus one and plus one. Again, the shuffling. So his five attack does two damage to Treebeard. And I have, what, two, five, eight, more than enough to kill him back. So, one enemy down. Uh, drawbacks to the low threat deck. You can't just kill them all. I can heal everyone with Warden of Healing. And move on to the next round. Two more, two more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's Gandalf and draw the rest of the cards in my deck. One, two, three. Huh, there we go. We'll play this Kelduin Traveler. I can look at this card. Can't do anything about it, but I will discard it. Because of Furial. can click over here, play an utterly pointless resourceful on Glorfindel. And the only card of these that I can do anything interesting with is Elfstone, which will get me Bayorn. Might as well 1-2 right away. And let's see, there is 5 in the staging area. I need to make 3 progress, so I can send 1-4. I forgot, we don't stage. 4 Seven, eight, send eight to the quest. We don't stage. I make exactly the three progress that I need to clear East Bite, which means Bayorn is in play. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I still can only grab one enemy. So Eastern Crows, it is your time to shine. Jubair will defend, discarding the shadow effect and Quick Beam will kill it. I might as well have traveled to Gladden Fields. The one threat isn't going to matter anymore. I have no secrecy cards left. There's not even anything left in my deck. I think I'm fine. On to the next round with one extra threat. Treebeard gets one resource. Theodred two. Glorfindel three. Yeah, it doesn't even do anything anymore. Uh, Asphaloth puts two progress on Gladden Fields. 
so that when I send three to the quest with Gorfindel, I make one more and add it to the victory display. Optionally engage the Eastern Crows, defend with Jubair, discarding the shadow effect. And killing it, which shuffles it back into the deck. That is Nightmare Journey Along the Anduin with a three hero secrecy deck. I probably did not need to discard Falco Boffin, but he's here, and I could, so I felt like it. Took us 11 rounds, my final threat is 22. <sighs> Sometimes it feels so good to go back to the decks that you love. Alright everyone, hope it felt good for you too. Thanks for watching. <laughs>